Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Dai, and today I am bringing you the Manga Tube tag. This is an original tag created by Christy Liu. I was tagged by Laura at the Manga Hoarder, and I believe my friend Bazaar from Bazaar Individual also tagged me. I will link everybody down in the description box below so that you can make sure to check out their channels as well. There are several questions to this tag, so let's just get into it. The first prompt is introduce yourself. I hate this prompt. <laughs> so <laughs> my name is Dai. I read novels as well as manga. I am the host of the Book One Cozies Club or first in a series Cozy Mystery Book Club here on YouTube. I'm older than you think. I am a mom. My daughter also enjoys reading manga and I've had my channel for over five years now. I hope that was good enough for an introduction. Um, the second question is when did you start reading manga? And this was a hard one for me because it's not something that I know right off the top of my head. So I went back and I looked through my collection and I had originally started reading manga in a Shoujo Beat magazine. Um, you know, when your kids are going to school, you have little fundraiser things, and one of the things that you can fundraise for schools is magazines. And so I had signed up for a Shoujo Beat subscription, and I don't know if this is the first one that I got, but it is the oldest one that I have, so it is this volume of Shoujo Beat. Um, this is November 2008, so I'm going to say I've been reading manga since 2008. I started reading Vampire Night in this issue, and that's what got me interested in collecting that series. Have I read that series yet? No. Do I own it? Yes. Um, it is on my list of series to finally get read. I am the type of reader that likes to have the entire series before I read it so that I can just marathon through the entire thing and so that's where we are with that so I'm going to say 2008 for that one the third question is what is your favorite genre and I don't really have a favorite genre as long as the story is something that sounds interesting to me I'm not going to hesitate to pick it up so I have a couple of examples here um, to share with you. I have the Gentleman's Alliance Cross here. This is probably the most read series in my collection. I've read this one at least twice all the way through. And so it's a high school kind of romance, I guess, with some mystery elements to it. So that one is by Arena Tanimura, and I really, really love her art style. Um, next one I have is LDK, and this is High School Romance. This one's by Ayu Watanabe. It's still coming out, but this is actually one that I am up to date on. And it has a very, very slow release, so it's kind of excruciating to wait for new volumes of this one to come out. But this is another one that I am enjoying. And lastly, I have Haikyuu here. We are actively collecting this series. My daughter is up to date with reading the volumes that are out. We have watched the anime four times all the way through. <laughs> it's one that we just keep going back to. I am in the 30s um, in this series as far as the manga goes. And I know it's just going to be a favorite. It's going to be one that I'm going to want to relive over and over and over again because I just love this series. I did play volleyball when I was in intermediate and high school. And so I know a little bit about how things work and things like that. And I don't know. There's just something about this series that keeps me coming back to it. As well as the rest of my family because, like I said... We watched this series at least four times all the way through. So I do read a lot of different types of things. Um, you know, I, I did do a collection video recently or a series of collection videos. So if you're interested in the things that I've picked up, definitely check those out. 
I'll link um, the first one down in the description box below. But we collectively as a family read a lot of different genres. Question number four is how do you read manga digitally, physically, or from the library? And that answer is all of the above. I do collect manga digitally. I read it digitally. I obviously have physical <laughs> volumes and I borrowed a lot from my library prior to everything shutting down in 2020. I'm very fortunate that my library system has a lot of manga to borrow and so I have pretty good access to lots of older series, series that might not even be available to purchase right now. So that's kind of what I was doing with my library, but since everything shut down, I haven't borrowed manga from my library. And I've relied on my collection, which is what it's intended to be for me. So I'm kind of enjoying just reading from my collection as well as my digital collection uh, currently. Number five is what is your favorite manga? And I really don't have one. I, like I said previously, enjoy lots of different types of manga. Uh, the Gentleman's Alliance Cross, I've probably read the most in my collection to date, but even that I've only read two times through. So I don't have a favorite series that I will constantly go back to. That being said, I did mention that we've watched Haikyuu four or five times all the way through. So I have a feeling that Haikyuu is going to be high up on my series that I will want to revisit a lot, but I don't really have a favorite manga. <laughs> So let's just move on to question number six, which is what types of videos do you make? I make uh, first impressions videos, which I've kind of moved into what I call manga series sampler videos right now. I did start doing manga first impression videos based on just reading one volume of a series, but I've kind of morphed that into what I'm calling my manga series samplers, which are first impressions videos but they're based on my feelings on the first three volumes of a series instead of just the first volume. I feel like a lot of times just reading the first volume doesn't give me enough to be able to say that I'm definitively going to continue reading that series. So I decided to go ahead with the manga series sampler format instead. I try not to be very spoilery in those videos in talking about things that occur past the first volume. Um, so. Those are a type of video that I make. I also do series thoughts videos where I give you my general overall thoughts on the entire series as a whole. I've started doing manga haul videos and as I mentioned before, I did my first manga collection series of videos this year. All of those are now up on my channel in case you're interested in checking out what I have. Question number seven is what do you hope people will get out of your channel? The thing that I hope people get out of my channel is to be introduced to a series that they might not have heard of before. I do read a lot of backlist titles. I don't read as many new releases and so I'm hoping that with the type of content that I bring people will be introduced to other series they may not have heard of before. Question number eight is what other hobbies do you have outside of manga? I am a knitter. I do have a second channel where I talk about all of my knitting projects. This top that I'm wearing is one that I have knit myself. This is my Clip Crows Fly Again sweater which was inspired by Haikyuu um, and it is just a knitted sweater with a uh, striped sleeves. Each one or each two of these color blocks is a team that Karasuno played um, throughout seasons one through three of the anime. So down here obviously Karasuno and then up here is Shiratorizawa. And so 
that's my Clip Crows Fly Again sweater. I do have a video on my channel where I talk about my inspiration for it and the things that I did to create this sweater if you're interested. I will also link that down in the description box below. My secondary channel, which is my knitting channel, is also listed down below in case you are a knitter yourself. I do crochet as well, but I haven't done crochet in a bit, so most of my content um, right there is knitting related. Um, we do enjoy Korean variety shows, and we watch those every week. Uh, our favorites are Running Man and Two Days and One Night. I do watch Korean dramas, though I don't watch as many as I did before, and we also enjoy anime. Obviously, I also read novels, <laughs> so that should do it for the other hobbies I have outside of manga. Question number nine is, what is next up on your to-read list? And I think it's going to be this. This is another by Yukito Ayatsuji and art by Hiro Kiyohara. This one was published by Yen Press and is rated older teen. I did mention to you that I do also read novels and that I am the host of the book one Cozy's Club or first in a series Cozy Mystery Book Club here on YouTube. In March, I also help host the March Mystery Madness reading event where me and several other hosts get together and we hold a reading event where we encourage the reading of mysteries throughout the month of March. I have been a host for this reading event for five years now, I think. And I focus my reading in March on mysteries. And this is a mystery title. It is one that I've been meaning to get to for a couple rounds of March Mystery Madness now and just haven't done it. Um, it is quite thick um, and it is all in one. So I really want to get this read for March Mystery Madness this year. We will see if that happens. But this is what I have next up on my radar of things to read um, next. So question number 10 is what are you looking for in other manga channels? And for this I'm going to say I'm looking for some type of review video. Not necessarily series reviews, more like first impressions type videos. There are a lot of videos there's a lot of collection videos out right now but a lot of times those types of videos don't give me what I need in order to find out if a series might be interesting to me so I find that with first impressions videos I get the best information to decide for myself whether or not it's going to be something that I'm interested in or not. Now there is a caveat to this. I don't want those first impressions videos to be spoilery. Like I said, when I make mine, I try not to go past events that have happened in the first volume. I'm basically looking for things like, what did you enjoy about it? Uh, things that made you uncomfortable, what you didn't like about it. In general, those are the things that I'm looking for when you're talking about a series. Other than that, I don't really want to know much. I'm the type of person that prefers to go into reading things blind, which is another reason why first impressions videos are things that work for me. I'm also interested in series review videos, general thoughts on an entire series as you've read it, Again, not too spoilery, I just want to know what you liked about it, what you didn't like about it, things that made you uncomfortable, and things like that. Those are the types of videos that really help me out as far as making informed choices about, you know, titles that I'm looking to possibly add to my collection. I do enjoy haul videos, and I enjoy collection videos. If you're collecting backlist stuff, in your haul videos, that's going to be of something that's interesting to me as well because like I said, I'm more of a backlist reader. So 
I am looking for older titles to explore as well. So that's a lot of what I'm looking for when I'm looking for new manga channels to follow. I'm not necessarily going to follow a channel that only does haul and collection videos though. I am looking for something a little more than that. Maybe if you do some like games, um, those would be interesting to see or you know top 10 lists. Lots of people do a top 10 list ranking their top 10 favorite shoujo manga or top 10 favorite sports manga or things like that. Those would be of interest to me as well. So question number 11 is to tag people and to be honest, everybody that I've watched, everybody I'm subscribed to has already been tagged on this uh, tag. So if you're watching this and you would like to do this tag, consider yourself tagged. Um, I tag you. But other than that, I'm not going to tag anybody specifically because like I said, Everybody I watch, everybody I'm subscribed to, they've already been tagged. And most of them have already done this video. So that's pretty much all I have for you today. So let me know down in the comments below if you will be doing this tag or if you just want to answer some of the questions for this tag. You may not do videos. Let me know the answers down in the comments below. I will have the questions listed also in the description section of this video. If nothing else, if you could leave me a book stack emoji down in the comments below, that would be greatly appreciated and would really help me out. I hope you're all doing great. I hope you're all safe and healthy. And until next time, take care and smile always. Bye.